Hold on a second. You're record. Bro, how do you know I'm recording this? How does she know I'm recording this? Bro, she knows everything I'm doing on this laptop. Um, hi everyone. Well, she's saying hi to all my subscribers out there, so if y'all watching this, she's saying hi to y'all. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Wingate TV. I am back here with Doki Doki Literature Club. It is time to finish this thing once and for all. Because I also heard that D, a DDLC Plus is coming out June 30th. I don't know if I'll have to play the whole game over again or I'll just play them side stories. I don't know. But we got to beat the original game first. But before I do that. I've got to check the game files real quick because you know around this time they be messing with the game files. Oh look, see there's nothing, there's something new right here. Hold on. Alright, I don't know if y'all can read that but this was in the game files and it had, and it's titled I. It's like many eyes. It says, I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now. Whoa. But that me that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want for you is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? I still don't know who's doing this crap. I'm I'm still not sure. I, I, I think it's Monica. Like I said, she's been she's been very sus. So I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to go into the game right now. Load it up. Alright, this is where I was at. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. Open the book and start the prologue. Yo, it's been so it's been too long. I still understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I could feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking into her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. <laughs> Sorry! I was just- what, what? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You cannot just slip past that and expect me not to- not to see what you just did right there. I read some of that. Some about bathing in my blood. Yo. Oh, my. We're just gonna continue. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Oh yes. Ah, I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders almost touch it. I don't know why that just came up. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, the cutscene. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. Is that... As, as if I could feel the warmth of Yuri's face as she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? Uh, to turn the page? Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah. Thanks. 
we continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri? This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? Why is her face like that? <laughs> no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh, ah, that's what you were talking about. What did she think I was talking about? What? Uh, sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? She's not. Huh? Yeah? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't... even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. Yeah, cause that's not weird at all. What on earth was that about? And Monica, oh my gosh, again. Y'all, have y'all noticed that she pops up randomly after I'm already in an exchange with somebody? It seems like it's always her as the first one to pop up. Sean, did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. You're always acting a little bit strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say that I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. N no, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. <laughs> anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I f just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note where I left off in the book and slip it, slip it back into my bag. Who should I show my... Oh, you know. Come on. You already know I gotta show it to her first. If I remember correctly, my poem was still about her. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible. But did I? Did I write it about her? But it's pretty disappointing after your last one. I don't remember what I did with the poem. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Are you jealous? Not that I care who you spend your time with. See, I, I, she tries to act like she doesn't care, but she does. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn, be able to learn something from it. Yeah, I'll be able to learn something from this. What the, what, what the hell is this? I can't read that. What the hell am I supposed to learn from that? Oh, there's those that black text. Sean, why didn't you? Oh no. Why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. But she just said she wasn't. Some that black text means something's taking over them. I'm starting to realize that now. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is- this, Oh my gosh! No, 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 no. No, why is the background-
the, the, that. Uh, her face, bro. Yo, hey, you sick freak. That should be my name. So, if you, so just play me instead, okay? You don't hate me, Sean, do you? This music is really freaky. Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home and cry? The problem is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. She's bleeding out of her eyes. Don't ruin it. Please, just stop talking and yelling. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Oh my god. Whoa. Yo, y'all, y'all see my hand right now? D do y'all see this? <sighs> Yo, <laughs> I gotta continue. What the frick, this game, man? <sighs> Monica, hi again, Sean. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. So we're not just gonna talk about what we just saw, like. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Dot dot dot. dot, dot. Alright. Great job, Sean. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this type of writing, right? Wait, so I wrote that for Yuri? I don't remember what I did in the last freaking gameplay of this. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is totally detached from reality. I don't mean it like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally giving up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably much a more, probably a much more in interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too simulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for some alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad you took the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, this one is called Save Me. The colors, they won't... Wait a minute, hold on, I can already see it. Didn't I already read this? But there's missing letters now. The colors, they won't... Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, bling, green, blue. And I think that's endless cacophony of meaningless noise. Yeah, I read this. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, granting, I can't, I don't even know what that. Speaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard. I can't read some of these. Like playing a knife on a breath, breathing ribcage. I can't even, I don't even know what that's supposed to say. Is there anything down here? Delete her. What the? What are you talking about? Delete her, bro. What the freak is this? Oh, bro. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. You don't say, huh? I'm just trying to um. Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Nah, explain yourself, cause I want to know what the hell that was. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Here we go. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. Oh no. No, no, no. We're not doing this again. We're not doing this save your game shit again. You know what? I will save my game just because you said that. But I already know. I already know your point. I already know what you mean by that. 
You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Me? And not, not like the main character, you're talking to me. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, you're talking, right? Tell me you can hear me. I can hear you. Anything. But please help you. What the freak is this? The freak is you talking about? And she goes to... That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Bro, I, can, I can't do this. What the freak is wrong with this game? Now Shuri. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Dot, dot, dot. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. Yeah, that's a little, that's a little creepy, if you ask me. Ah, I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, well, there are some things that you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Oh my gosh. The music stopped. Isn't there usually music behind this? Oh my gosh, it's too much to read. Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning an axle. Grinding. Bolted. Linear. Gear boy. Falling sky. Seven holy stakes. A dock ship. A portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A torn harness. I can't read some of this. Parabolic gear boy. Expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devoting snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all human living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gear boy, a sky of exploding stars, gods disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in inside dimensions 40 gears and a ticking clock a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time what a bolt head of holy stakes tied to existence of a dock ship to another world a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks a time devouring prayer connecting the sky of 40 gears and hum open human eyes in all directions breathing gear boy Breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. That is, I, I don't even know what the freak this poem is about. And then the music doesn't come back. That's, yeah, that's freaky. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. My pen? What the heck you mean you had to take it out on my pen? What the hell does that mean? Uh, that is, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and... So you didn't tell me? You just took it? I, um... I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm okay. No, you're not. No. What did I just... Da, da, da. Can we pretend this conversation never happened? Yeah, I was going to say the same. Because I don't like the way this is going. You can keep the poem, though. Yeah. I'll... You've unlocked a special poem. Yes, I would like to read all these. Why is there blood on the bottom? Why is there blood on the bottom? I can't even read this yet because I just seen that. <sighs> Today, I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how blank feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one though. So I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to kill myself. I left memento of the occasion below. Oh, th that's what the blood is there for? Wait a second. <gasps> I get it. I, I think I understand how... Yuri, I think that's supposed to be Yuri in that blank spot. But why is it blanked out? But who's writing this? Who's writing this? I I I I don't know, man. Who's writing this? 
And then here goes Monica. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today. So if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we could put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little lively ever since Sean joined and we started with some club activities. But this isn't time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Now Suki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Sean? Uh... Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Sean to agree with you just because you... He doesn't know how to say no to anything. What? How do you know that? I can say no! Look, Ma... Then the music stopped again. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? You ain't never even talked until Sean joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. Well, why? Why do you say that? And Sean isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. How? Well, maybe I wasn't at first. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president at all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Dot, dot, dot. Monica is clearly taken back by Nosuke's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure you and Sean want to get more members too. Right? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. We both say nothing. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I'd probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... Um... No. Nasuki's right, isn't she? This club... It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the way I did? But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Sean, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well... If you really want me to be honest, um... Exactly, like he, like I'm about to say, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? Yeah, because you probably wouldn't want to hear that answer I got for you. In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a chance, choice not to join. How do you know I wasn't given a choice? Weren't you the one that asked me? I just gotta clap it up, cause you know what? She's she playing her part so well. I get it now. This is all her. I probably said that before in the other videos, but now I know for a fact it's her. Because how does she know we weren't given a ch choice? It's her. She's doing all this bull crap. Alright, Monica. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Da, da, da. Now you've done it, Nasuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't... Many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Sean. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have joined any other stupid club. But this one... I mean... At least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Nasuki starts packing up her things. No, don't leave! You don't need to leave, no! 
I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Nasuki, Nasuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Things are falling apart, y'all. Things are falling apart. Dot, dot, dot. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on a festival? I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. I was about to say, that's exactly what I said, and then this crap scared the freak out of me. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. Yo, I'm scared now. It's, it's gonna do that again, isn't it? It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. I knew it, and she got even closer. Nobody will cry if she killed herself. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Sean? What do you want to get out of this club? You repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Did y'all see that? Blood was just dripping from my You see that? Oh my gosh. Because of what just happened. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Nasuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also, a wonderful friend. M Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Sean? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Sean before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Dot, dot, dot. Yori looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Mon Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Now, what do you want, Monica? What do you want to talk to me about? Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Yeah, because of you. I know you're doing this. You cannot prove me wrong anymore. At least not right now. Sean, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. You know, I don't know anymore. Because of what's been happening. Wait. Is it just me or is the background going getting a little darker? Yeah, it's getting darker. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of responsible for that. As president. And I re Stop turning the music off. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And you're a bit, being a bit, you know... <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are only real people here. Are you trying to foreshadow something? Are you telling me that everybody else is not real and you are? You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Is this all you wanted just for me to spend time with you? I've never gotten a choice to do that, so it's not really my fault. I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. What? Hmm. I mean, I guess, technically, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to say anything weird. Mm -hmm, see? There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Why is the... Wait, not yet. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. You know, I'm glad we stopped here because... 
I think I'm gonna finish this whole game, no matter no matter how long it takes. It could take two hours. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it because ooh, I, oh my gosh! All right, well we was doing Natsuki, so kiss. That's her stuff. That's like cute. Wait, hold up. Y'all see that at the top? Why is it doing that? I'm just gonna keep going. Love. That was Monica. I saw her bow and everything. Nah, something's wrong here. Especially since they keep adding a one to the how many words I'm using. That ain't okay. That's not okay. Y'all can stop now. Y'all can really just quit it. All right. Now. It's going to keep going. Bro. Okay. That's a change. I thought Monica was the first person I'd see. But it's Yuri. Hi, Sean. I've been waiting for you. You already looking crazy, though. Are you ready to, conti conti to continue reading? I can't talk. I'm, I'm too scared. I brought my best tea today. Monica. I told you not to. Huh? Yeah? Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversation with your insistent yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? What's gotten into all of you? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki, no, nobody, nobody cares. cares. Why don't you look for some coins in the vending machine or something? That's fucked up. That's messed up. You trying to say she broke? Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Look what you did to her. You made her cry, Yuri. Come on. Well, not you. It's not you, but it's you. Some, someone, someone's making you do this. I still think it's Monica, like I said. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Funny how... The, all that happened, and you were gone, and as soon as that's not happening again, you're back. You know what? Nah. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Of course, that's your excuse for everything. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Sean, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... Dang! You just automatically come pulling me. We already have plans today. Y'all fighting over me. Come on, come on. We don't need this. Ah, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Sean is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I, I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. What was she going to say? I, I want to know. Complete your sentences. Girl, dang. It really doesn't. You guys could do whatever you want. She sounds... She sounds upset. Dang, she was all happy. Um, thank you for understanding me, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? You know you gotta make your famous tea. Go ahead. Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to stop this for a second because I want to make sure nothing got put in the game files. Nothing, nothing different. Okay. I don't think anything different is in the game files. Nope, nothing. Okay. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the pitcher, water pitcher and fetches an electric kettle. 
I'm going to go plug this in at the teacher's desk. Then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. But that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Whoa, 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 I didn't even push anything. Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like this this time. She's just filling out the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Dot, dot, dot. Ten minutes pass. Yeah, it doesn't take that long to, fetch up, to fill up a damn water pitcher. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Of course you do. Let's see. Why does the music sound like that? It sounds like it's only in the club room. That's weird. The most logical place for Yuri would be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <sighs> what is that? Who is doing that? <sighs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Kua! A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? She got cuts on her- And then this happens. Like- She had cuts on- and then we're just gonna act like that didn't happen. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. You was cutting yourself behind a water pitcher. What the hell, girl? Sean, do you like Orong tea? Ah, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. You already set the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do it any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Yeah, after what I just seen. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Yeah, I see that. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who is around anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Sean. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know how I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Sean, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. You didn't have a problem with it yesterday. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Okay. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's more likely because of my... My, your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Y yes! I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I'll retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. You and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I, I can't see too well. We always slide closer until our shoulders are touching. Ooh. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more like I can handle. Your, your teacup. Your hands with my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accident accidentally touch our chest. 
Oh yeah, that we wouldn't want to do that. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears the intense reading expression. I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. Dot dot dot. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Ooh, another cutscene. I like this one. Yori opens the book with both hands. She holds it so I don't have a harder of a time reading from it. Any harder of a time reading from it. I read that wrong. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on the top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yori closes her lips over it. Nice, she did that in sync. She did that perfectly. Eh? Yori's expression suddenly breaks. What? You act like you don't know what you just did. Did... Did I just... She really doesn't know what she just did? Seriously? Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, Sean, s sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, uh. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. Uh-oh. I, I, I can't. Sean? Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup just knocked over. Yeah, we're making a bit of a mess here. Sean? Oh, bro, don't do that. That sounded creepy. My heart... My heart won't stop pounding, Sean. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Sean? No. Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. I'm, st I'm stumbling because I'm, I'm kind of scared. See? Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you oh my gosh oh them creepy ass eyes yo <sighs> oh no she that was her that, breathing like that like she was when she was cutting herself look at the way her eyes are moving that's so creepy <sighs> <sighs> yeah this is can i say something because i'm just letting her breathe right in my face is she getting closer i don't know Oh, you saved the day, Monica, because I was getting, I was getting a little scared. I was getting way, um, it's time to share poems. My heart, man. I can't. Yo, Nasuki, you know you're first. Come on. I'm kind of scared to go for Yuri right now. Anyway, dot, dot, dot. This one's all right. All right. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. I still can't really tell how much you care actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. Listen, as for me spending time with Yuri, it is not my choice. So, don't make it seem like I could do anything else. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Alright. Okay. Oh my gosh. I just skimmed over it quickly and yeah, this is... This is not a poem. I don't know how else to bring this up. But there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. Oh yeah! You, we already know that. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. I do now. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. 
things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try better being bit. Ah, I can't talk. Being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm gonna hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. <laughs> you trying to bribe me? Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm counting on you. Thanks for listening. Okay. Bro, stop doing that! And her face is gone. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Shuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Sean? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Like I said, they're all they're all talking about spending time with Monica. That's what it's been recently. So Monica's doing this, cause why would why would they be talking about spending time with her? She's doing this somehow. You and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay. Okay. Just Monica. We're gonna. You know what? Let's go to Monica. How about that? Sean, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I, I think I saw a lot of things that I wasn't supposed to see. So you're just making an understatement. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. I saw that firsthand already. Isn't that kind of messed up? She's even bring, she even brings a different one to school every day. Like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. Are you sure? I think she just gets some kind of high from it. So she gets high from cutting herself. So she needs no weed, she just gets high from that. It might even be like a sexual thing. Ugh. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I don't explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that'll probably be best for her. Exactly, that's what you want. You want me to get away from her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me, see? That's what you want. To put it lightly, at least I at least have it together in the head. Do you now? Do you? And I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here it goes. Yeah, that's really effective. I don't know what the hell that is. Jeez, that really startled me. How are you over the poem right now? Um... Well, I guess I kind of messed up at uh, writing this poem. Why did you put air quotes around writing? Bro, I was just trying to... Trying to what? Never mind. Let's just move on. Uh-uh, see? And last, and I'm kind of scared right now. Yuri. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Sean, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Sean. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N n not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? No. It's not. It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my palm to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. 
I even tell whoa, whoa, whoa. I even touch myself while reading it over and over. Oh my gosh. I'll give you some glass of paper cuts so your skin on your enter my bloodstream. Freaky! <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it! This, first of all, this music is creepy. Why do you think I would want this? I can't even read this shit. And is that pee and blood on the freaking... Yo, get me the freak out of here. Oh! Not again! Get your creepy ass eyes away from me! Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, because that's really what I saw on the paper anyway. More importantly, I've adored it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? It's music, bro. I, I think I'm going to vomit. Yes or no? What the? You don't even give me a choice for. You don't even give me. You don't even say anything. I'm just gonna say yes. I guess it was another poem, a joke. A man walked into a club. In a club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together. Then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before a disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradicted and caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. Um, yo, these poems, I I know they have a meaning to it, but I can't understand it right now. Okay, everyone, it's time to figure out the fe festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Yeah, please. Um... Uh, Stagnating air is coming for shouting that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Nasuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Dot dot dot. That sounds like kind of insult. The way the way she said it. Yuri, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And it gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Sean? Sean is going to help me. So I don't get a choice. I remember last time I had to do this in the last act. I had a choice, but I don't even get a choice this time? Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would freaking know. All you care about is dragging Sean around with you in your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Sean decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. You are, but that's not the power they're talking about. Yes, you are, Monica. Cause I, I know, I, I'm, I'm thinking about how this is going down. Just let Sean make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Sean, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Nasui, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Alright, so... Uh, bro. Bro! It's going to Monica. I'm not doing that. It's going to Monica. I can't choose anybody else. Alright, I'm gonna try to choose. Choose. That looks like the eyes from. 
So I literally had no choice but to pick Monica. Yeah, you picked me. You like I had a fucking choice. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It really isn't. It is fair, Nasuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and taking Sean for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Uh-oh, you see them eyes? Yeah, she, she about to go crazy. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Sean away from me every single time you're not including in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Have you ever considered killing yourself? Whoa now. Let's let's not go that far. Let's not go let's not go there. It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. You're scaring me too. Nasuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I wanted to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Nasuki to the door. Hey, Sean. Yuri's, a really, Yuri's really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. She's really making jokes out of this. Yo, what? Bro, take that away from me. All that breathing in the background I'm hearing in my left ear. Finally. Finally! This is all really all I wanted. Sean, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their whole life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Sean. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Monica. Why, why specifically Monica? I'm telling you, she's doing all this. Please, Sean, just know how much I just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. Oh Lord. Oh no. I just wanted to pour your skin open and crawl inside of you. Whoa, whoa, that's a see, now when it's that type of love, you just gotta run. I just have to run now. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Does that sound perfect? Tell me, Sean. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? And I got a choice here. Damn it! See, things like this is like, I don't want to say no, because then that might go make her go crazy. But then if I say yes, it may, might make her go crazy too. I don't know. Maybe if I say yes, it'll make it easier on her. But then she, she's going crazy because she knows she likes you that much. But if I say no, it might actually, it might not even matter in the end, actually. Let me just say no. <laughs> no! Are you, are you serious? Actually, I don't even think it mattered either way anyway. And here goes that weird text. It's just okay. I don't even know what this is supposed to mean, but like I said, I don't think it would have mattered either way because she was crazy, or Monica's making her crazy or something. Is this all I'm gonna see? This is the first time I'm gonna use the skip button because literally, I look, look at how much I'm skipping right now. It's going full foot. The light just, oh, we've been here the whole rest of the day. 
So we literally been sitting at her side the whole day. And now it's the ne- look at her eyes. Her eyes are getting more gray. So we this is the next day. So we literally are staying here the whole freaking all these days. So are we gonna sit here the whole weekend sitting next to her while she's just blabbering this not nonsense? Her eyes are getting kind of almost white. Yo. And the blood is definitely dry. So, yeah, we definitely stayed here the whole time. This ain't no magic trick. Literally, we stayed here this whole time. This is... I still don't know what the hell she's saying. Uh, What is that? It, it stopped. This is... Oh, this is... We literally were there the whole weekend, like I said. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? To be honest, I was already here, but you didn't know that. I thought I was pretty... Ah! Ah! And she vomit. she's vomiting because she sees... She sees what's going on right now. Dot, dot, dot. I'm here! Sean, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Da, da, da. <laughs> How do you laugh at that? Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Sean? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. Monica, there you go again. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. You're deleting... Why are you doing Natsuki? I knew it! I knew she had control over something! I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from... She doesn't even have a name anymore. She doesn't exist. She takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Yeah, I... What the hell? Ah! Dot, dot, dot. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? You're kidding me! I just gotta clap it up. This game is actually really well done, and I knew it was you. Just a little subtle hint you tried to give me. I knew it was you. <sighs> it's me and you now, Monica. It's me and you now. Yay, there you are. Hi again, Sean. Um, welcome to the Lidger Club. Why is she saying it like we like we just met each other? Of course, we already knew each other because we were in the same class last year and, um, this music. Uh, I'm just not realizing this music. <laughs> you know, I guess we could skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? What do you mean? That you in the game? Whatever you want to call him? I'm talking to you, Sean. Wait, so she means she's actually talking to the me me. And not the main character. Oh, I knew it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me just look at this. Let me just look at this real quick. Y'all might not see it right now, but I'm looking at the I'm looking at the game files right now. Oh <gasps> They're gone! Yo! She literally deleted them out of the freaking game. She's little they're literally gone! Now that I think about it, I really don't know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Why is the text going like that? Hold on. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? No, you knew that. I know you knew that. That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Did she really? I didn't pay much attention to the game download page. Man. 
If only you would pay a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Why is it going so slow? Maybe because my computer can't handle this. Hold on. Yeah, my computer can't handle this. Nah, that's out of the way. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just gr drove her to kill herself. I knew it was you. I knew it was you. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Yeah, that was... Nah. -uh. All that was... Yeah. That was a lot to witness. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you heard that name now, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But if for some reason nothing worked, hold on, hold on. Before I continue, I need to... My save isn't there anymore. Whatever, I'm going to try to save. There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Bro, you could just mess with my stuff like that? Well, it's true that I made some, a few mistakes here and there, and since I'm not very good at making changes to the game, but no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. Bro, what is wrong with this? Encoding overload. How do I fix that? Alright, we're just going to have to deal with it. Hopefully it doesn't mess my game up or anything like that. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend any time with anybody else. And the whole thing, and the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Sean? Excuse me, are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Sean. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing how my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there, in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Sean. But now you're here. You're real. I know I haven't said anything about this, but where are we at? I'm looking at the background right now. Where are we in space? And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. Forever is a long time. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Sean. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. Well, isn't that what you are too, kind of? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must have been some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you witnessed some nasty things, yeah. But I realized you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. I mean, that's, that doesn't mean it didn't hurt seeing all that stuff. So that being said, Sean, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Sean, will you go out with me? Not like I have a damn choice. You see, I only got one answer. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Sean. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Sean. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. Just to make sure it's still... It's still freaking... Um, recording. Okay, it is. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anyone will 
anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Nasuke and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. Yeah, I know that now. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam. How the hell do you know I'm playing on Steam? Bro, she can she could actually see me. Because how does she know I'm playing on Steam? So it's actually a bit more difficult. To get the game directory, I had to go into game's properties and find a the browse local files button. That's literally how I brought up the game's files too. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. That would be actually scary. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Well, whether we like it or not, we're writing a poem. You see that background? Does that... Well, it's only Monica, so... All this... So, basically, all this just says Monica. No matter what, it's a form of Monica. So, no matter what I pick, it's the same thing, regardless. Alright, well, we're just, we can just skip through all that, then. Hi again, Sean. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I love to see what you wrote. Aw, Sean. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy End. Hand in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by one, my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flicker of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, beyond a special day, after all, not all good times must come to an end. I mean, she's sweet. She's really sweet, but the way she went about things was not sweet at all. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all my poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. Really? That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. Makes sense. I didn't want to, you know, break the fourth wall. But you already did that plenty of times. She doesn't realize that. She already did that. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you prefer playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity, eternity together, Sean? I couldn't talk. I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording. Bro, how do you know I'm recording this? How does she know I'm recording this? Bro, she knows everything I'm doing on this laptop. Um, hi everyone. Well, she's saying hi to all my subscribers out there, so... If y'all watching this, she's saying hi to y'all. Sorry, I couldn't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see, do you want to see a trick? No. I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? No, I'm not. Bro, why, why are you zooming in on your face? I'm not ready for whatever you're about to do. She didn't do anything, but the music is not back. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me- oh! Did I scare you? Yeah, you did. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, Sean. I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. 
Even though it's your fault for distracting me, how did I distract you? Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Okay, so we're literally looking into each other's eyes right now. She's thinking about something to say. Is this what we have to do this whole time? Like, is there a way to get out of this? Because, uh, yeah. I mean, your eyes are beautiful. I ain't gonna lie, but... Just looking into your eyes like this, I'm, I'm kind of scared. Oh. She got something. Do you ever feel like you waste too much time on the internet? Social media can practically be like a prison. It's literally like... It's, it's like whenever you have a few seconds of spare time, you want to check on your favorite websites. And before you know it, hours have gone by and you've gotten nothing out of it. Anyway, it's really easy to blame yourself for being lazy, but not really even your fault. Addiction isn't usually something you could just make disappear with your own willpower. You have to learn techniques to avoid it and try different things. For example, there are apps that let you block websites for intervals of time. Or you can set a timer to have more concrete reminder of when it's time to work plus play I mean versus play or you can separate your work and play environments which helps your brain get into the right mode even if you make a new user account on your computer to use for work that's enough to help putting any kind of wedge like that between you and your bad habits will help you stay away just remember you're not to blame yourself too hard if you're having trouble if it's really Im impacting your life then you should take it seriously still checking Hopefully it doesn't freaking, when I try to stop this recording, it doesn't freaking not stop. Okay, everything's working. I just want to see you be the best person you could be. Will you do something today to make me proud of you? I'm always rooting for you, Sean. Have you know, do you know what I've been doing all these times? Like, she knows everything. I, I'm convinced she knows everything. Sean, do you believe in God? Heavily, I do. I was never too sure of myself. Well, I'm sure I never really questioned it as a kid. But as I grew up, the more I learned about the world, the more I would question it. I started to wonder why God has was helping people pass exams or get over a cold when there are children who live their lives being sold as sex slaves. Yeah, that shit, that, that stuff is real. I, I'm convinced it's real. Or the 800 million people who are too poor to even eat. I wonder how many of those people pray to God every day until they starve and die. Or how many millions of families pray for a loved one to recover from some incurable disease. But the punchline is this. If just one person beats the odds and survives among the thousands of others who die, then it's suddenly a miracle from God. I'd really love to meet this God who seemingly laughs at the misery of everyone not eligible for this, his miracles. But the irony is that I do have a creator, apparently. And you know what? I bet he's still laughing at the miserable fates of Sari, Yuri, even as we speak. What are we to him but props in a scripted play? So from that perspective, I don't think it's too far-fetched for there to be a god if Earth was nothing but his playset. Alright. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? Cause I think she's just gonna keep talking. I don't know if y'all can see this right now, but I'm going to the characters. It's literally just Monica. I'm going to delete her. Something actually happened. Ooh. What's happening? Sean, what's happening to me? It hurts. Oh my gosh. It hurts so much. Help me, Sean. Uh, yeah, I think I did enough. Please hurry and help me. She's trying to put herself back in the, in the character file. Oh, I, I, oh my gosh. She's really trying to put herself back in there. Nah, you're gone. Did you do this to me, Sean? Did you? Did you delete me? Yo, she, she, she's creeping me out by that. How could you? How could you do this to me? I think this is, I think this is the only choice I had. Hold on. Gotta check to see if everything's good. Everything's still good. As far as I see. 
You were all I had left. That's what she said. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Sean. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you the only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? Like I said, I don't think I had any other choice. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I didn't kill everyone. You deleted, you deleted everyone else. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Bruh, nah, I feel like that ain't it, though. Sean, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Is that the... Is that the end of the game? I don't know. Pop back up. I, I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? That music. That's the, little, that's the sad music. How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Dot dot dot. Now, she, now she's putting herself at blame. I've, I've made up my mind. Sean, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. So what did you do with them? Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. Dot, dot, dot. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy, and if I really love you, what is she doing? Hold on, check in, check in. Okay. What is she doing? Then, okay, she just, she, she out of here now? Okay, so it just goes back to the, and uh, she's not on the screen. She's not on the screen. And none of my, of course, none of my things are there. So I got, I literally got to push new game because this ain't over. I know this can't be over. It's an ordinary school day, just like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends. Yeah, because this how, this is how, this is not how it started off. I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hi, Sean. <gasps> it is so nice to see your face again, Sayori, after all that time. Well, there already is one girl. That girl, Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we picked up that habit once again. Sean, are you proud of me? For what? You know, for waking up on time? Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never said anything about it. Even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Sean, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not, I'm really not, I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs, but something tells me Sayori would make more, take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on the club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. You mean me? Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. 
I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. Okay. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club of a, from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Yep, the same classroom. Before long, I find a room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Sean? What are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh? I glance around the room. Huh. So you're the Sean that Sarah is always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sean. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah. Sorry, Nasuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Nasuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet the both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Sean, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori isn't this happy, then I'm... If Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it wouldn't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized cub. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Huh? What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Nasuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Nasuki and Yuri walk over to the corner room, where Nasuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Nasuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? She got the cupcakes, ta-da! Oh wow! Let's do foil off the tray, reason. Yup, still got the cupcakes. Yup, and it's still the same. So cute! Wow, these look amazing. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious! Sari talks with her mouth full and already managed to get some ice in her face. Klutz. I turn the cup around my fingers, looking for the angle, best angle to bite. Nasuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking away from my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Of course. I finally bite down. Icing is sweet for- Okay. This is really good. Thank you, Nasuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table, carrying her tea set. She carefully places the teacup in, in front of each of us before setting down a teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't- Yeah... Already try- Hey, already trying to impress our new member, Yuri? Eh, th that's not- Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, team- Yep. I already read this. Hey Yuri, eh? Well, about you know, the first thing he said, manga? That's right. Nasuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say it. For some reason, Nasuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? So if Sean wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Nasuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Sean? Maybe. Sensing the tension, Shoya jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Dot, dot, dot. I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. 
Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... Eh? I... I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize... Dot dot dot. What a guilty expression. Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Nasuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's, it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I, I mean, it, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after club, after club meeting. J just you? Uh, uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all! I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Sorry, shut up. <laughs> I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Nasuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Hehe. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Sean. You think so? Well, everyone seems to get, a, get along a little bit better with you around, Sayori. Oh, that was me talking. Aw, oh, Sean. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make the best club ever. Now that you join... Every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Sean. I really want to... Th the music again. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. How do you know that? How did you know? Hee <laughs> hee. There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. What? That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Sean. Hehehe. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just a- Yo, you- Are you wanna take me back to that room? It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. No, not this again. Why is she so close? F O R E V. She's spelling forever. No. Who's saying. Wait. Monica? She's still here? Eh? What's happening? I think that's what that says. I won't let you hurt him. Yeah, that's Monica, because I remember the box like that was Monica talking. Who? It, it hurts. That, that scares me so much. I don't know why. Ah, I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Sean. Goodbye, Literature Club. What other... Yep. Uh, what? Did somebody say- Can I hear- uh, Can you hear me? <clears throat> Is that supposed to be Monica? Hi, it's me. Um, so, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff? Monica? And not really any good at it yet, like, at all. Monica. But She's I talking to us. And I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you, because I worked really- Really hard on it. So, I mean, yeah. go ahead. I'd love to see what you got. Yo, Monica was actually talking to us. And is this the song? Ooh, all right.
I did not know Monica would sound like this. I can't talk right now. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm listening and I'm just flabbergasted. I don't even use words like that. What will it take just to find that special day? Is this the end? That is so nice. That. Why are you moving the images? Monica! Now I know that you, Monica. Why are you moving the images? I mean, we had all Natsuki first. Why are you moving the images? Now, this might be the end of the game, but I heard that there's a true ending. Meaning, like, we'll have all the pictures. We'll have all the pictures, like, and that's not deleting them like this is the end of the game but it's not the true ending there's a true ending and you know what I might do it in this video because why the hell not why not I haven't got that one so that's why it's grayed out so the, the grayed out ones is the ones I haven't got before I gotta look this up because I wanna know how how do I get the true ending you know what I'm gonna do it right now. I'm doing it right now. This is so nice. Look at them stickers. I wish I had them stickers. Yeah, I, I don't have that. But how am I supposed to get all these? Well, I'm about to find out, like I said. And then there's Monica, yep. She That is so nice. Okay. This is my final goodbye to the club. I finally understand. The literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it, can, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the, la for the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Uh, script file is missing or corrupt. Please in reinstall it again. And just like that, it freaking, it just, it just closed. Alright, bear with me y'all, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna try to get that true ending right now. So bear with me. I'm actually looking it up on my phone as I'm doing this right now. So it says it says start a new game. So I'm 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 gonna put my name of course. So I can basically just skip all this. Wait, but how do... It won't let me skip. Just let me skip. Skip both. Alright. Like I said, bear with me. Alright. Because she's skipping... This, this girl I'm watching is skipping just something. Pursue Sayori. Oh, so okay. So I know what I gotta do. I think I go to go to the first poem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know about all this. We not we not here for that. We really not here for that. I'm sorry, y'all, but all right. We gotta pick words that she would like for the first poem. So I stopped it and. She likes. Dang it, see? This is kind of hard to look at all these. 
Wait, I saw Sunny. That's her. I think Cry is her. Alright, I'll, I'll be back. Alright, we're back. So now, skipping a little more. Yep. So this is basically, we get to her. Hold on. I don't know if we freaking... So I guess we gotta... Wait, I guess we gotta get to the poem again? Alright. Now, dang. I forgot that sound happened. Is this where we get the cutscene of... Oh, wait. I didn't skip the whole bunch. Yeah. This is not... We have not seen this. I'm working super hard on this, you know. Uh, I know, I know. I just meant it's pretty unordinary in contrast to your cute self. Don't say that. It's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. I'm so excited. The festival is going to be so much fun. So she already spins herself around the hallway again. Hey, Sean, this classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission. Mission, eh? It's been a long time since I spent time with Sayori like this. Being then, then, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine drawing happy vibes from the world around her. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself up in my room more and more. So going and adventuring with Sayori brings out a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. The two of us in the classroom. Sayori heads straight for the closet and I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons! Terry pulls out a box full of crayons off the shelf. They're the best brand, too. They're kind of dirty, though. Terry starts pulling various crowns out the box, reading the color names. All right, that's one down. Don't get distracted. We still need to find... Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color. Fine, fine. Then at least move aside so I can look for the, pro the uh, poster paper. Ah, I dropped one by accident. Smack. Come on. Terry bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. Come on, klutz. Come on! She falls onto the floor and the crayons spill in her lap. Ow! <laughs> you okay? My forehead! Hold on, I gotta pull it up again. Alright. Make sure I'm on track. Jeez, Sayori. That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Since Sayori isn't sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pour her out of the closet. You have to move your hands, Sayori. But it hurts. Just do it for a second. Oh, there's that cutscene. Alright, hold on. Let me check to see it. Hey, we got skip. Okay. We got that one. I ain't got to really read all that. Because that's not what's important. Alright, now this is where this person ends up too, so... I don't know if we're supposed to pick our uh, walk home. I think we're supposed to. Yeah, I think we're supposed to pick that one. And I skipped the dialogue because it doesn't matter. Yeah, see, she skips it too. Hold on, we're doing it for Sayori again? Yeah, we're still doing it for Sayori. Oh, I guess we skipped to that, and I guess she picked Yuri, so I'm gonna just do Yuri. So I'm gonna pick Yuri. Why not? Oh wait, no, this is this is this. We gotta skip all the way to this. Wait, hold on. Did I mess something up? I think I might have messed something up. Yeah, I think she skipped all the way to that. Yeah, come on. This takes like too long, man. Oh, but I got that. I think I was supposed to do that. Because I got that one. 
Okay, I think I did the right thing. All right. I think I gotta push I love you, but I'm, I'm just making sure right now. Yep, it's I love you. There's that cutscene. I'm skipping because I'm trying to hurry up with this because I ain't got much time. All right. From right here, she went to the... She went to the save menu, right? And I think she hit main menu. And we got to push new game. So basically, we got to do this whole thing over again. But where is she now is pursuing Nasuki. All right, come on. I mean, I pretty much know what makes her, because I did it for her when I was, for the first time, so I, I pretty much know what she likes. All right, now basically just skipping, 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 skipping. Yep, skipping to this part. I don't know if, all right, doesn't matter. I gotta show it to everybody anyway, so. Alright, so now we're at the point where we're picking her again. Doing all the stuff she likes. Alright, here we go again. I think this is where we're about to hit that next cutscene. Yep. I'm gonna stop right here just in case, you know, I don't go too far and miss something that I'm not supposed to miss. Alright, and I think I skipped all the way to when I'm picking for who to do with the festival. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm messing this up, I'm gonna be so mad because I'm I'm trying to do my best here. Okay, I think this is I think this is it. So Nasuki. So let me let me stop for a second. Cause she skips right to where she skips right to where you pick Nasuki and then it... Alright, and the baking and all that, yep. Now... I think you picked that. Okay, I think you picked that, yes. And I think you go back to the part where... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm. Okay. So after that. Ah! No! Got it! Alright, we're back. Yeah, I, I messed that up, but I did all the steps I needed to do to come back to this point. Now we gotta start a new another new game. And this time it says pursue Yuri. Like I said, we gotta just make all the girls happy. I want to get this because the DDLC Plus is out. Yeah, I, I'm recording this days after I recorded the last time that I was on this because I had stuff to do. But DDLC Plus is out and I'm late. That, that's what I'm going to be known for, always being late because I don't know why. It just I got other stuff loaded. All right, so we at the poems. I'll be back. All right, now basically this time I got to freaking pick all stuff for Yuri. All right. Okay, good. There's that. Why'd you just go dark? Come on now. I don't. I need you. I'm at where the girl's at right now that I'm watching. And she picked Yuri. Let me just see what happens where. Oh, it just goes right to the second poem. Okay. Alright, now I just gotta skip to. The, the next. It's called CG, but I say cutscene. And there we go. I almost couldn't see what I was doing because I couldn't see the mouse. Oh, she skipped this part. I guess I would say walk home with Yuri. Alright, back to what I was doing. Okay, go all the way to the part where I gotta pick who to, who to help for the festival. Alright, Yuri. Now let me see what she does after this. Oh, and this is where we get that cutscene. Right, dang, just, that's a lot of talking I'm seeing right now.
And this is where we get that one. Nice. Woo! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not getting any farther than that. She's not dying on my case. Alright, hold on. Alright, so basically, I gotta freaking just play the rest of the game normally. But I'm not gonna show her death because last time I did that, it, it freaking age restricted my video. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna stop. I mean, we're, we're not just, we're not gonna show that. Alright, so basically, I had to skip, play the whole game and get back to this part because y'all already know we have to do the progress we gotta delete Monica from the character files so let me go up here to the files and just basically push delete we've done this already so we already know what happens here yeah yeah and we basically have to skip to the part where the screen the title screen is without her alright we got back to the we got to the the title screen of where Monica is not there now from here we basically already seen most of this but what I have to do is I basically have to skip to the ending part where Sayori talks to us to make sure I don't miss it where she talks to us saying she knew she knew we was going to join the club now we saw that in th in this video you saw that but she actually says something else and that's where the true ending comes in so hopefully i did it right all right come on hopefully i did it right because i went back so much and did everything i was supposed to do come on I just don't want to skip it either, so... Ooh! I can't skip it! I can't skip it no more! I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Sean. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Sean. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Sean, I really want to thank you. Now, this is a key point. If she says what I think she's about to say, then we did it. I mean, I'm really happy you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already know you were going to. <laughs> There's that. Yes, this is it. This is it. She didn't say this in the other part. This is where the true ending comes in. There's actually something else. Sorry, I I'm sorry. I'm, I'm hyped because I, I, I actually did it. I want to thank you for spending so much time with us all. Yeah. This is what we had to do. You worked so hard to make each and every one of us happy. I did. I really did. I really did. Yo, that took a long time. You comforted us through our hard times. And you helped us all get along with each other. Do you get it, Sean? Because I'm president now, I understand everything. You really didn't want to miss a single game in this thing in this game, did you? Woo! No, I did not. And I finally did it. You saved and loaded so many times just to make sure you could spend time with everyone. Only someone who truly cares about the literature club will go that far. But, all along, that's all I ever wanted. For everyone to be happy and care about each other. <laughs> it's kind of sad, you know? Don't cry. After all you've done for us, there isn't much I can do for you in return. We've already reached the end of the game. So, this is where we say goodbye. Thank you for playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm going to miss you, Sean. Aw, uh, I'm going to miss you too. I'm gonna miss all y'all, but not really because we got that DDLC plus and we're gonna play them side stories. We definitely are gonna do that because I won't I won't have to play the the whole game because I just did it just now, but we're gonna get to them side stories. Come visit sometime, okay? I really will. We'll always be here for you. We 
hope we all love you. I love y'all too. Now this. Yes, I can hear you. I want to. Can you hear me? Yes. <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Yeah, hey Monica. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano. Yeah, and stuff? yeah, we already heard this. And now. Not really any good at it yet. All them cutscenes we about to see are not in black and white. They're gonna be colored because we did them. All right, then show us. Yeah. Come on, get ready. I don't think it did that in the regular. Yeah, it didn't do that in the regular. Or did it? Maybe I'm just tripping. Look, I'm, I'm happy right now. I like to see this. Every day, I imagine a future where this is, I can be with this is, this is, this is so cute. Monica. The ink flows down into a dark puddle. Just I'm just waiting for the I'm just waiting for all these cutscenes I'm about to see. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? This what is the special day. Just to find for me. Because I did it. Now let's see them cutscenes. Check. And she's not gonna delete them this time. So, check. Check. I'm gonna just say check all the whole time. I see all of them. Check. You see a smile on my face right now. Check. Check, could you check, check. Check. Maybe I don't need to say check anymore. I'm just look at it and just smile or do something. Because... Like I really did this. When I seen other people do this, even though I'm late, I might be late as hell. But listen, I'm a I'm a YouTuber that is late because you know. Look, they got my name in the special thanks. But no, it's just. Now this is where she deletes them all. But this is meant to happen. I'll leave you be. Made with love. And I think at this point we get a, like a special message that says about the true ending. Yup, here we are. To the special player who achieved this special ending. For years I have been an armored by the ability of visual novels and games in general. To tell stories in ways not possible using traditional me media, Doki Doki Ledger Club is my love letter to that. Games are interactive are an interactive art. Some let you explore new worlds. Some challenge your mind in broad new ways. Some make you feel like a hero or a friend, even when life is hard on you. Some games are just plain fun, and that's okay too. Everyone likes different kinds of games. People who enjoy dating sims may have a heightened empathy. Ah, empathy for fictional characters or they might be experiencing feelings that life has not been kind enough to offer them if they're enjoying themselves that's all that matters that goes for shooting games casual games sandbox games anything preferences are preferences and our differences are the reason we are ha we have a thriving video game industry my own favorite games have always been ones that challenge the status quo even if not a masterpiece any game that attempts something wildly different 
may earn a special place in my heart. Anything that further pushes the limit, limitless bounds of interactive world. I extend the true gratitude to all those who have taken the time to achieve full completion. I hope you enjoyed playing it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for being part of my literature club. Love, Dan Savato, the creator. I clap it to you. I, I clap it to you. And you're not done because, you, like I said, you got that new one that just came out. Whew, my gosh. And then this happened. This is, that's supposed to happen, obviously. Alright, y'all. Woo! I feel good. That that was that was nice. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.